What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my videos. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to play Call of Duty Warzone on PC using your PlayStation 4 controller. Let's hop right into the video. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is to download and install WinRAR. So just go to Google and type WinRAR download just like I did over here and it should be the first link. So let's click the first link. And from here, just click download WinRAR and click over here to download WinRAR. And it's gonna download and just download and install it the same way that you would download and install any other program to your computer. Matter of fact, the steps are actually right here. So just go ahead and do these steps and you should be good to go. All right. So the next thing that you need to do is to download and install DS4 Windows. So again, go to Google, type DS4 Windows. It should be the first link again. So let's click the first link. And here we are. So go ahead and click download now and click this one over here, ds4windows.zip. So after you download it, it's gonna look something like this. Here it is, ds4windows, and right beside it should be a WinRAR icon. So what you need to do is right click, extract to ds4windows. Now what this is gonna do is create a folder with the same name as this. So let's go ahead and scroll up to where the folders are. And here it is. So let's open this and let's go ahead and double click DS4 windows. And now it's going to say, pick where you want settings and profiles to be saved. So I just click program folder and that's it. You're pretty much done. So go ahead and click controllers right here and I will show you what to do next. All right, so what you need to do next is to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. And I'm gonna show you two ways of doing that. So one way is to simply connect it with the cable. The other end of this cable is already connected to my PC. So all I have to do is connect this end to my controller and just press the home button and it should be ready to use. As you can see, it detected the controller right here. All right, so if you plug it in with the cable, you might run into a problem where you're not hearing any sound. So if that happens, just click the sound icon over here on the bottom right and try adjusting the volume. If you're not hearing any sound, just click over here and change it from this to something else and try adjusting the volume again. And if it doesn't work, click here again and just change it to something else until you can hear a sound. All right, so let me just unplug this and let me show you how to do this with Bluetooth. All right, so to connect your controller to your PC with Bluetooth, here's what you need to do. So go to the search bar over here on the bottom left and type Bluetooth and click Bluetooth and other devices. Now make sure to turn Bluetooth on first, okay? So if you have it off, make sure to turn it on. Now, what you need to do is take your PlayStation 4 controller, press and hold the home button and the share button at the same time until it starts to blink. And now, as you can see, it's blinking. Now, what you need to do is click over here to add Bluetooth or other device. Bluetooth. And right here, it says wireless controller. So let's go ahead and click that. And that's it, it's connected. Just click done. You can minimize this if you want. And as you can see, this app detected the controller. Now, all you have to do is have this open and minimized and you can play most games and it should work. I also just wanna note that if you minimize this, it's going to disappear from your taskbar, but it is still open, it is still up and running. But if you want to open up the window again, you're going to want to click over here and double click the controller icon. And there you go. You're back. All right. So if your controller is lit up and it's not being detected by DS4 windows, first of all, 
press start if you haven't done that yet. And then usually if you don't have any games open or any game launchers open, uh, the light usually just turns off. So let's just wait for it to turn off. All right, so now that the light is turned off, what you're gonna wanna do is to connect it as if you were connecting it for the very first time. Do not just press the home button because that's not gonna work. So press and hold the home button and the share button at the same time to put it in pair mode until it starts blinking just like that. And then go back to Bluetooth and other device. Add Bluetooth and other device, Bluetooth. So make sure every time you connect your controller, do it as if you're doing it for the very first time. The wireless controller. And there you go. As you can see, when you open DS4 Windows, now it detected the controller. All right, so now all you need to do is to just open up the game that you wanna play. So for this video's example, we're gonna use Warzone. So let's go ahead and open up Warzone. And this might take a while, so I'm just gonna fast forward it. All right, so here I am. I have the game open now. And as you can see, I can use my controller. So let's go ahead and play Warzone. And there's something important that you need to do before you can use your controller to play. Okay, so press options and then go to general. And over here where it says input device, you're gonna wanna change keyboard and mouse to controller, okay? Make sure you do this first, okay? Because if you don't do this and you go in game, you're gonna be using your mouse and keyboard, okay? So let's go back and let's actually just do some practice. Uh, let's do plunder training. Welcome to All plunder right, training. so um, here we are. As you can wins. see, I am using my sure controller to uh, play. And it's going to show Xbox layout, by the way. So instead of R1 and L1, it's going to show RB and LB. But you'll get used to that, so don't worry about that. Grab that cash drop, soldier. All right. Well done. And that's that pretty much all you have to do. Now you can your use your controller on your PC to play your Call of Duty. This should also work for Call of Duty, right, Black Ops, serious. Cold War and modern warfare so um yeah that's pretty much all you have to do Accept the contract, soldier. oh and also one really important note is to make sure that you don't click away from the game screen like for example if you have a second monitor like i do as you can see my mouse is right here my cursor so if i go to my other screen and click on my other screen now the controller is not going to work it's not going to do anything so make sure you do not click away from the game screen so let me just click back into the game screen over here and i can use my controller again all right so once you're done using your controller if you're using bluetooth and you want to disconnect it here's what you need to do so go ahead and open up bluetooth and other devices again go to wireless controller and remove device and click yes and then the controller is going to turn off all right, guys, that is it. That is all that you have to do to play Call of Duty Warzone on PC using your PlayStation 4 controller. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. If you wanna keep up with me on my socials, I'll put them on the screen and I will link them in the description below. And if you wanna join my Discord server, I will also put the link to it in the description as well. So guys, thank you again for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.